wrist joint tight synovial variety condyloid or ellipsoid variety articular ends proximally the inferior articular surface of the radius and articular disc of inferior radio ulnar joint so this is the inferior articular surface of the radius which has two articular parts laterally a triangular part and the medially a quadrangular part laterally a triangular part medially a quadrangular part articular disc see the articular disc is attached to the styloid process of ulna to the medial margin of the lower end of the radius distally the superior articular surface of scaphoid lunate and tricuspid bones so these are the articular ends ligaments number one capsule number two radial collateral ligament number three ulnar collateral ligament number four palmar radiocarpal ligament number five palmar ulnocarpal ligament number six dorsal radiocarpal ligament number one capsule it is a loose fibrous sac which encloses the joint cavity it is attached to the margins of the articular ends its inner surface is lined by synovial membrane <coughs> number 2 radial collateral ligament or lateral ligament of the wrist joint attachment proximally it is attached to the styloid process of the radius lower end of the styloid process of the radius distally it is attached to lateral surface of scaphoid and trapezium number 3 ulnar collateral ligament or medial ligament of the wrist joint attached proximally it is attached to the tip of the styloid process of ulna tip of the styloid process of ulna distally it is attached to trigeminal and fusiform bone so you can see the fusiform bone here the attachment is clearly shown trigeminal and fusiform bone number 4 palmar radiocarpal ligament the fibers of this ligament runs downwards and medially attachment proximally it is attached to the lower margin of okay that is the anterior margin of lower end of radius so proximally it is attached to the anterior margin of the lower end of the radius <coughs> distally it is attached to scaphoid lunate and few fibers to the trigeminal palmar ulnocarpal ligament this fibers runs downwards and vertically attachment proximally it is attached to the anterior margin of articular disc the blue color represents the articular disc so the anterior margin of the articular disc and the base of the styloid process of ulna and the base of the styloid process of the ulna or the root of the styloid process of the ulna distally it is attached to trigeminal and lunate 
anterior surface of the trigonometric and lunate bone. Dorsal radiocarpal ligament attachment proximally attached to the posterior margin of the lower end of radius. Distally, it is attached to the posterior surface of scaphoid, lunate, and trigonal bones. See the palmar radiocarpal ligament and the dorsal radiocarpal ligaments attachments are easy to remember. Okay, the attachments are same, but only difference is this is on the anterior aspect, this is on the posterior aspect. See here from the anterior, okay, anterior margin of lower end of radius. Okay, distally scaphoid lunate triangle, anterior surface of scaphoid lunate and triangle. Whereas this ligament from the posterior margin of lower end of radius, distally posterior surface of scaphoid lunate and triangle. Easy way to remember. Relations anteriorly it is related to tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis, number two tendon of flexor digitorum profundus, number three tendon of flexor pollicis longus, number four tendon of flexor carpi ulnaris. Number next one is median nerve. Posteriorly, the extents of tendon of wrist and the digits. Laterally, tendon of abductor pollicis longus and extents of pollicis brevis radial artery. Medially, the dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve, which arises from the middle of the forearm and runs on the medial aspect of the wrist joint. Descends on the medial aspect of the wrist joint. Blood supply. Branches from the anterior interosseous artery. Transverse carpal branches. Now supply articular branch from anterior interosseous nerve, posterior interosseous nerve. Movements. It is a biaxial joint. So you have flexion, extension, adduction, abduction, and circumduction. So flexion. Muscles responsible, flexor carpi ulnaris, palmaris longus. Extension, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, and extensor carpi ulnaris. Adduction, flexor carpi ulnaris, and the extensor carpi ulnaris on simultaneous contraction causes the adduction. Abduction, flexor carpi radialis, extensor carpi radialis longus, and extensor carpi radialis brevis. Abduction. Applied anatomy. <coughs> Aspiration of the wrist joint. In this, the needle is inserted on the posterior aspect below the styloid process that is between the tendon of extensor pollicis longus and the extensor indices so that is the correct point where the inject uh, needle is inserted for aspiration Ganglion. There is a non tender cyst formed on the posterior aspect of the wrist joint. It is due to the 
inflammation of the synovial sheath on the extensor tendon during the flexion the cyst increases or enlarges in size and causes pain